Hi, I'm Jared, one of your reference librarians here at Polk State College. In this video, we will discuss some of the major elements of the APA research paper. The sample paper featured in this video comes directly from your APA manuals, located in Chapter 2 on page 40. Let's begin by discussing the basic formatting rules of APA. You'll want to use a 1-inch margin around the edge of your paper. You'll want to have 12-point font. You'll need double spacing throughout the document, and generally you'll use Times New Roman, unless your instructor specifies otherwise. Step one is going to be formatting your running head. Make sure that R is capitalized on running and H is lowercase. And then the title of your paper is going to be in all caps. Make sure that the title is shortened. It should not in exceed 50 characters in length. Last but not least, your page number should be flush with the right margin. Next, on the upper half of the page, you're going to list the title for the paper, the authors for the paper, and then the institutional affiliation. In this case, it would be Polk State College. As students, you won't typically need an author note, so we're going to skip over that section. But if you need that information, it's on page 24 of your APA handbook. When required, the second page is going to be your abstract, which is a brief summary of your paper, and it's going to be between 150 and 250 words. An important note for the second page of your research paper is that the title and the header no longer contains running head, and now it is just the all caps title. You're now ready to begin your paper. In the event that we have an abstract, our header stays the same. In the event that we didn't, this is where you would remove running head and you have just the title of the paper in all caps. Begin your paper by centering the title, then proceed to write your introduction, which will be left aligned. And be sure to indent at the start of every paragraph. As you flip through the pages of the sample paper, you'll notice that they use section headings and sometimes subheadings in certain instances. For papers that require you to use headings, you'll typically use about two levels. So you're going to be centering the first level. It'll be bold with uppercase and lowercase. Uh, second level heading will be flush left, bold face, uppercase, and lowercase heading, and so on, just depending on how many levels that you need for your assignment. Immediately following the conclusion of your research paper, you'll have your references page. This is where you'll credit all of the authors whose ideas, theories, or research have directly influenced your work. So note here that we have references centered at the top of the page. Each citation has a hanging indentation, which is the indentation of the second and all subsequent lines of each citation. Also, it's important to note that all of your citations are going to be in alphabetical order. For a more detailed description of citing, consult Chapter 6 of your APA manual. In the event that you need to display results, you'll do so after the references page. This is for any tables or charts or figures that you may have. Chapter 6 of the APA manual will thoroughly outline um, any spacing changes, also um, where to label parts of a chart or a table, so be sure to consult Chapter 6 whenever you have to include tables or charts or figures. And for more information on APA, be sure to consult your manual or contact a librarian.